What is up guys? So I'm finally back doing another video. It's been a really long time. I've just had a lot going on. Uh, school, um, just stuff with the family. And just a little over a week ago I had my tonsils taken out so I was like, eh, couldn't even talk. So if my voice is off it's because I'm still kind of healing. But today I am going to be talking about the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. I know it's been a, a really long time since this product's came out and I've had it for a little while. It's just, um, I've been trying different ways to apply it to see if I would like it and no matter what I do, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It, um, I watch reviews also and so many people love it and this and that, but I think it's because most of those reviews I see, everyone has like a regular combo skin or oily skin. I, on the other hand, have dry skin. I have really dry skin. And uh, this doesn't really like me much. I've used a brush. I've used my fingers. I've used my beauty blender. I've done everything I could think of. And it just did not work. I thought maybe it's just because I'm using a pow um, powder after. So I stopped doing that also. But nothing I do works. So... Yeah, if you have dry skin, tell me what you do to make this work. If it doesn't work for you, then yeah. Dry skin, I would recommend stay away from this. It is so cheap though. It was only $5. I got it at Walmart. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, why the heck not? Because I wanted to try a different kind of foundation. Um, just because, uh, I don't know, it just seems like everything I've been wearing... It like gives me those lines in my forehead, so I look old. Um, so I thought maybe this will work. It's clean. It, this is what the this is what it says. It is a feather light liquid mousse blends flawlessly for natural looking all day shine control. Silky smooth formula leaves a perfectly matte baby soft finish. Lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy. Um. It doesn't feel greasy, so I'll give it that, and it actually is pretty lightweight. It's it's kind of thick though. It's really thick when you put it on, and um, it does make my face matte. It just, it just, it you can see all these dry patches everywhere, and it kind of just sinks into all the lines in my face, so I just, I feel like I look like a grandma when I wear it, um, but... Yeah, I I think it's only because I have dry skin though. I know I just said that, but I'm just, I don't know what to do anymore. I have, I've tried everything and I am sick and tired of buying makeup because you know, that is expensive. Foundation is freaking expensive. I go to Sephora and I think, oh, you know, I'll just buy high-end products. Maybe that'll work better, but, uh, I want something really light because I don't need a lot of coverage. I don't need coverage. I just need it to, um, uh, what's the word? Even out my skin tone, yeah. I just needed to even out my skin tone and take away all the redness because that's, I, I don't get bad acne, but, um, when I get a zit, it's like, it doesn't go away. I don't know. Maybe it's because I, 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 I'm bad. I just touch my face and I, I pop them all the time. Even when they're not ready, I try to pop them so everything around it gets gets red. I should... Itchy. I should probably stop that, but... But yeah, so this product for me, overall, I don't like it. I do not like it. Do not, do not, do not like it. If you have dry skin, I recommend do not buy this. Save yourself five dollars. Go get... I don't know what to get because I don't know what works. If you have um, if you have any recommendations on a really lightweight foundation for dry skin, leave it down in the comments. And uh, I don't know. I guess I guess I basically said everything I wanted to say about this. I'm just kind of rambling now. But yeah, mm, thumbs up and subscribe.
Bye. Yeah. And then she grabbed my the, the, the strings and <laughs> she was choking me with like pulling me back up.